Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you five reasons why a narcissist is always so angry. Being with a narcissist is a very unpleasant and uncomfortable experience where you are constantly walking on eggshells. You're very careful not to offend or upset them. You're paranoid and hypervigilant because any little thing could set them off and you don't know how they will react. So you learn to filter everything through them because they're very unpredictable and their actions are often based on sudden and impulsive urges, desires or ideas which don't seem to have serious reason or purpose. But why are they always so angry and reactive? Here are five reasons why. One, fear of exposure. Narcissists have a lot to hide, so they are terrified of being exposed. They hide their true intentions of not wanting a fair, equal, and balanced relationship. They want a relationship where you give and they take, which is why they hate it when you express your needs or when you question their motives and behaviors. They want you to keep giving without asking them any questions. When you question them, it irritates them because they don't think they should have to be accountable to anyone. They don't think they should have to explain or justify their actions, which is why they will react aggressively to make you stop talking, asking or complaining and to defeat your argument. They train you to suppress yourself, to prevent your development, action and expression as well as your feelings, impulses or ideas. They restrain you psychologically and emotionally because they want to keep it a secret. They want to keep it hidden so that you will accommodate their perceptions, ideas and beliefs through the fear of how they may react, no matter how pleasant or correct you may be or how much you may try to soothe and comfort them they will still blow up and overreact because they don't want you to know the truth about them. They don't want you to know that they are using and abusing you, which is why they wear masks and they pretend to be normal. They act like they have this unselfish regard and devotion to the welfare of other people when in fact they only care about themselves. They have a lot to hide so they do fear being, being exposed, which is why they will often use breadcrumbing, which is a form of manipulation where they will pretend to be interested or in pursuing or developing a sincere relationship to guard themselves from exposure and also to give you false hope. If you're finding this video helpful so far, please give it a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you. Number two, fragile self-esteem. Narcissists are disconnected from their emotions, so they are unable to regulate their self-esteem. They bottle it up. They repress and conceal their feelings until something happens and then they become aware of how evil and wicked they truly are. Their false self was created to protect them from their shame and insecurities, which is why it only takes a small reminder of who they really are to set them off and cause them to lash out at you. But narcissists are primarily unconscious beings. They are not aware of their triggers or of their patterns of behavior. So they don't see that it is them and their trauma that is the problem. And instead they blame you for everything because they have built a wall around themselves. 
so they can't be vulnerable and they can't let anyone in, which only ends up hurting everyone else around them because then you have to take on their drama and problems when it's because they're emotionally underdeveloped. So they make very unintelligent decisions because they're very reckless and impulsive. They turn molehills into mountains so they overreact and they create a state of unnecessary fear and distress in everyone that's around them, which is done through their anger. They express anger as a means to blame and control you. Three, they feel flawed. Narcissists have to feel perfect and superior, which is why they have a constant need to prove themselves through gaining people's attention and admiration. They have a need to feel acceptance, which is why they can't deal with being ignored or rejected. It feels like a life or death situation to them because it shatters the illusion of them being seen as special and as being better than everyone else. If you ignore the narcissist, they will attack and criticize you for making them feel unimportant. They will see your failure to act in accordance with their wishes or commands as disloyalty and disrespect, as though you have broken their trust or confidence, and as though you are being rude and discourteous. They will pursue their interests to forcefully attack and confront you, and they will not stop until they teach you a lesson, until they punish and hurt you for not being the perfect supply they wanted you to be. The narcissist lives vicariously through you. They live in a way that is experienced in their imagination through your actions, which means that they are dependent on you. They are dependent on people more than a codependent is. They need you far more than you need them. They cannot live without your approval without your act of accepting and allowing something, of appreciating, liking, encouraging and supporting them. But they do not want you to know that. Four, they feel pressure to uphold the false self. They feel that they must sustain, protect and preserve the false self. But this is an internal pressure it's something that comes from within themselves. They are shame-based people. They feel inadequate, as though they are insufficient for a purpose, unable to deal with situations and with life, because they have no real sense of self. They lack the feeling of identity, uniqueness, and self-direction. They do not perceive themselves as a whole or as apart from others which is why they have an inability to perceive themselves and to regulate their self-worth. Instead, they require constant validation to, it, to prevent their own feelings of shame and inadequacy from reaching, attacking and affecting themselves. They have to maintain their false beliefs in their own superiority in order to appear flawless, although it contradicts reality. And that is why they are extremely controlling. Because they're constantly fighting a battle that they cannot win. And yet, they can't accept losing. So they've set a standard for themselves that they will inevitably fail to achieve. Which causes a narcissistic injury. And it causes them to punish you. They are their own worst enemies. And yet... They believe that you are responsible for everything that happens in their life. Five, they can't handle criticism. Narcissists can't handle any real or perceived criticism, even if it is constructive criticism, because it causes their shame to resurface and then they lose control. In response to their shame, they try to control the external environment, either in a passive-aggressive way, or they will rage and damage your property. 
or they may even become physically abusive because they have no empathy and they have no remorse. So when they feel criticized, their reaction will be harsh and negative. They will become vengeful and they may even hold a grudge. Even if you were just giving them constructive feedback. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.